Tatoshi, Muhammad Nazim Ad and Hakani, Mulana Shaykh Hisham Kabani, Shaykh Adnan Kabani, Shaykh Muhammad Ad, Mahdi Khaliq al Khujdawani, Sahib Zaman Sayyid Muhammad al Mahdi alayhi salam, Ruhullah Sayyidina Isa alayhi salam, Wa Sayyidullah Sayyidina alayhi salam, Thumma Sayyidina Baka Siddiq, Sayyidina Ummah, Sayyidina Uthman, Imam al Hassan alayhi salam, Imam al Hussain alayhi salam, Wa Sayyidatul al Fatima Tazar alayhi salam, Wa Sayyid wa Sadatina. وصدقين الفاتحة بالشفاة يا رسول الكريم آمين أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أتي الله أتي رسول أول الأمر منكم and always a reminder for myself أنا أبدك العجيس ودعيف ومسكين وظالم وجهل and in existence by the grace of Allah Alhamdulillah in this blessed month and the immensity of the Divine Mirror and all that is being inspired within the hearts and the guidance and love and ishq of Sayyidina Muhammad As days become more difficult the realities become more essential. What was once maybe for a benefit of seeking knowledge and feeling that that knowledge was of some excitement, the knowledge now becomes more of a survival that the direct remedy and the key for every difficulty has to be understood as things are becoming more and more negative and, and things become more and more confused. Then Allah wants for those whom believe and ashiqeen, those whom have a, a path of love that you don't have to look left and right but you have to connect and to build the love and ishq for Sayyidina Muhammad and that to love Prophet more than we love ourselves. And when every other love and every other thing in this dunya is of a disappointing and the love that is eternal and the relationship that is eternal is the most important. Means that love and that ishq of Allah that He wants us to connect and make the connection with the love and the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad and that becomes then the clarity of our faith, the security of our faith. And then we begin to understand how different the knowledge and the reality of awliyaullah from common people. That what was talked about last week that the reality of our salah and that the presence of the holy face of Sayyidina Muhammad and it's in the dialogue, it's in the words, it's in all of the teachings and alhamdulillah it's maqam al-ihsan, it is the state of perfection. These are also from the realities of the powers of the heart the haqiqat al-tawajju and haqiqat al-tawassul means these realities are the essence of spirituality and the mastering of spiritual realities. What makes the student a student and qualified as a teacher is their connection. I mean it's not the, it's not the concept of memorizing books and being a professor at a university teaching spirituality but it's the understanding from the shaykh's knowledges that we achieve that and we took a path in which to receive and achieve. So in the teachings of the levels of the heart, in the teachings of the six powers of the heart, in the teachings of a star and the formation of a star in which Prophet described, follow my companions, any one of them is a star on a dark night. These are all the beads that when we 
put our string and make this tasbih, make this zikr and this praise of ours towards the Divine Reality, they will connect. That we're trying to be a star and lose our, our form. We want to enter that which is eternal and the material, the material world has to be brought down and the malakut and the spiritual realm has to be superior. The gentleman released the video on Saturday and again the miraculous nature of those talks could be a year ago somehow they're inspired in which to formulate the talk, choose the talk, I don't choose the talks that are going to be aired. And then from their choice they, they put things together and then it airs and it coincides with what's been talking about and the whole spirituality of what's been, been on the subject matter of losing our mass. So it, it, it gives always an ishara that there's a Divine curriculum. We suit up, show up and stay quiet so that the inspiration comes to us both teacher and student because we're all students and see what Allah through the holy tongue of Sayyidina Muhammad and inspiration of awliyaullah reach to us and what they want for us. So you see then the talks then it coordinates with the videos that are being aired so that the curriculum has already been formed, we just show up. And we try to take what they want for us to understand that this path of spirituality and losing our matter. So those whom are science heavy and where, where is all of this, it's in everything that we do. So if we lose the matter and the solidness what happens? That becomes the foundation of our spirituality and the, the solid only burns through heat and that heat can be nafsani or rohani, means either Allah can crush you physically with immense amounts of tests or we subject ourselves and say, I don't need to be crushed, I don't need for you to, to bang me left and right and smash and then have every type of difficulty come to me Ya Rabbi, I want to come through my ishq and love and I want to be hard on myself and meditate and contemplate. And I bring the fire of spirituality with on myself and upon myself to understand and how to stay quiet, how to be patient, how to look to my faults and my wrongdoings and correct them and assume that all my faults are seen by everyone. If you don't have that assumption then you're not really in their school. If for any reason you feel that you can do something and that they don't see it, that's not a student of the way, that's not the adab and the manners of that student. That's we, we talked about before when Shaykh Abdul Qadir was telling his students, go slaughter this chicken where Allah won't see you. But what he really wanted to find is that whatever you think of Allah, of seeing, Prophet sees. Because Allah in Hadith of Qudsi says, I'll be the seeing in which you see. So means then Allah gave this quality of nazar on Sayyidina Muhammad He sees his nation and Prophet gives that seeing to his ulul amr and to his angels, malaika, they take from the power of Sayyidina Muhammad because it's Atiyullah, Atiyah Rasul, not Atiyullah, Atiyah Malaika and Atiyah Rasul. The angels only take from the authority of what Prophet gives to them, they're considered Ulul Amr. So it means that Atiyah Rasul is the highest. So whatever Prophet is receiving then he's giving that out. So means then the student is aware that the shaykhs are watching me, the angels are watching me, Prophet is watching me and then my life is about testing, losing my solid state. As soon as I lose my solid state and I feel the burn, I feel the difficulty, I'm trying with all my life to be patient, 
and I see the, the sadness everywhere that this difficulty encompasses. And as a result of their sacrifices and their choices in life, things become heavy and difficult and as a result they keep melting and melting and melting. But as a benefit of that melt they become very liquid and the liquid state gives them a sense of patience. With that patience they're able to accomplish what Allah wants. That haqiqat al-tawajju is then from their liquid state, that in their liquid state they're continuously meditating. Otherwise how, how could you be patient if you don't meditate? Every difficulty comes you, you want to yell and scream or do something with your mouth or hands to resolve, you can't. So the meditation becomes the essential part of life in which they, they go into their muraqabah, they go into their connection, they cry unto their Lord, they ask Prophet they ask awliyaullah and that whole relationship is the key for their success and that becomes their tawajjuh. That's what was being taught last week. So it means these are all the same subject, these are all coming in in different ways for students to understand. That if we want our salah to be real, Allah is showing us that if you're doubting the, the importance of milad, you doubt the importance of the love of Sayyidina Muhammad Allah is five, five times a day is granting us an audience. An audience with Sayyidina Muhammad that his holy face will be looking at you and I would not have sent him because that makes sense now. I would not have sent him except that he's a mercy for all of creation. Means I'm sending his holy nazar to be upon you in every salah and the reason for your salah is so that the nazar of Prophet will be on his nation, the greatest nation, the most blessed nation in which Allah granted them the greatest gift is the nazar and the face of Sayyidina Muhammad looking at his nation, praying for his nation. That when I see their amal because every time you go into salah that amal is shown to that Divinely face. And if it's good he says, Alhamdulillah and praises Allah that, oh these servants their, their amal and actions were good. And if the amals are bad and the overwhelming tide now is the amal is bad and I ask Allah for forgiveness. This is the most immense and most blessed gift that creation can receive. And that's why the gift of Prophet amongst all the gifts of all the messengers of Allah was intercession. He's the grand intercessor in which his soul intercedes for all of creation. That tawajjuh means the, the connection to the holy face that becomes our lifeline. When we meditate and connect and before we can reach to that reality then we're connecting with the shaykh as we have that love for the shaykh because the love for Prophet is still unknown to those who become fresh, who come in fresh. They just, I don't know what Prophet is like but I like the way that you teach, I, I like the way that you're loving, I like the way that everything is soft and everything is fragrant. We found Prophet through the love and the, uh, the accompanying of Mawlana Shaykh because the, the common and the perfected example of love and compassion and, and such a mercy in which you said, if this man represents mercy, my God imagine what Prophet was like, how his companions had such an immense love they would have died instantly if, if that what is, was asked of them, means they, they love so much beyond the love of themselves they would have done anything and they did anything for the love of Sayyidina Muhammad 
that becomes the, the reality of the tariqah. So that when we're connecting, we're connecting with the shaykhs, we're asking to, to build that love, that connection, ask that I want to, to be in the presence of your face, that your face to dress me, to bless me and I see myself as nothing, silencing my mind that I don't have questions, I don't have my active mind and, and shutting that mind down and asking that you fill my heart with light and reflect that light into my heart. All of those were the daily, daily practices to build the tawajjuh, so to build that connection because that tawajjuh becomes essential. Building the connection with the holy face from the face of the shaykh and his spiritual face to the face of Sayyidina Muhammad to the face of Allah Almighty whatever that may be understood from people who understand. The building of that is the whole of this reality and power that coming and the dress that comes upon humanity. As a result of that face and those whom connect with the face, what then is the next step? If you can connect with a face, you can convey. So, tawassu, I can convey my concerns if I'm connected. If somebody give you a phone and you need to call India but you don't have a phone, what do you do? You go to your friend who has a phone and say, can you call India for me please? That's a tawassul. By means of that phone you're going to contact where you have to contact. Well that's why people go to the shaykhs who are connected. They trust in them, they know that their hearts are connected, their love and ishq is the example of their fruit. How do you have a tree that claims to love Prophet but bears no fruit of that love, never speaks of that love, never gives an example of that love? It's a fruitless tree, something must be wrong. But the tree that continuously gives the fruits of that ishq and that love, well then you know they're like a mobile phone, you go to them and say, please I need to make a call, call them, tell into the heavens my concern, tell the issue into the heavens of this is my difficulty and that becomes the understanding and the concept that they use their tawajjuh, they use their connection with that face and all the faces that they've been trained with that those faces are the faces that dress them and bless them and as a result of connecting they're now capable of asking. And that's the tawassul, they convey because they have now a connection. They have a mobile phone that has video and audio and that's why other people their prayers are like somebody who goes into a closet and screams to India, right? They don't see anything, they don't really even know what they're conveying to who they're conveying. If they deny the love of Prophet can you imagine who they're conveying their concerns to? If they think it's to Allah Allah why you're not asking and loving Prophet and maybe the Imam whom is guiding you of shaitan and shaitanic thinking is distracting and diverting you. So you can see how the blind and how difficult the interaction of the blind would be. So the blessings of tariqah that Allah gave to the tariqahs is that they connected. And as a result of connected, they connected their heart, their face and their soul. As a result of that connection they begin to convey. Doesn't mean it'll be accepted and they don't convey every du'a. They know when to convey and when not to convey. Means they know when Allah's hearing and seeing is that's enough. But if they have to intervene to make the conveyance to Prophet they have that ability but is rarely used. But these are the realities that save us from the immense difficulties that are coming. And that this love and this ishq it has a purpose, it has a direction and a goal. 
if we can reduce our material and matter and, and the reality for trying to keep our form and enter more into the liquid state. And that liquid state is more applicable to connect, more able to connect and that's what becomes essential in all of these teachings. And this is all to perfect the, the station of faith in which we love Sayyidina Muhammad more than we love ourselves. As a result the servant be granted the light of iman. With that light of iman they can reach to Maqam al-Ihsan where every prayer is they see their Lord and they know that their Lord is continuously seeing them. That's where we started is if you want to reach to that you have to know that your Lord sees you. And if your Lord sees you everybody who's associated with your Lord also sees you. If you govern your life with somebody seeing you day and night, day and night from how you sleep, how you walk, how you talk, how you interact, that camera is never off. If you govern your life with that camera and that sincerity you should reach sincerity with, with no problem. Subhana rabbika rabbal izzat amma yasifoon wa salaamun al mursaleen wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen bi hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al-Fatiha. <laughs>